You can't see it, but I'm bobbing my head back and forth to the music. Okay then, it's been a while. It is a darn crime that I need to keep me window open in order to get oxygen for breathing into my room because ye gods, the popo are busy. Okay, that's Twitter. Hello, driver. Hello, hello, and welcome, welcome. Alrighty, we've got to post all the stream stuff onto Discord so that people can come and say hi. They can come and say hi, which is yes in Japanese. One of the ways you say yes. How's it going? It's going all right. Like I said, there's crime happening outside. Not sure if you can hear the police sirens, but it's happening. Hello, fluffy cat. Uh, but I myself am well. I managed to get up uh, nice and early to get coffee in me before the stream. So that's all very nice. And um, yeah, I have no idea how much uh, we're going to be able to get done this stream. Hello, Cole Young. We're doing good. Welcome to the chat. Hello, Simon Ember. War crimes. Well, I hope there's no war crimes happening outside. That would be bad. Is it a stabbing? I have no idea. Hopefully it's... I have no idea. Like, I can just hear it. Like, there's a motorway, like, not far from my window, so... If there's trouble happening, it is... Could be here, it could be near, it could be far. Hmm... <laughs> Why am I doing this again? Uh, that um, that chat comment is like that fits your username very well. <laughs> Sleep deprivation. Dresden part two. Don't think so. And hello, Mamo. All right, so let's get busy. And there's the recycling truck. Okay then. So here we are. We're gonna go into the designer. This is the old version of uh, Finest Hour we've loaded. Uh, specifically because I need to test it against the janky planes we'll be shooting at. And to start off with, I think we do have a shell type already. All good. And yeah, usual story. Let me know if the music's too loud or too soft or whatever. Okay, let's see. Where are we? We're going to go test fortresses. APS. Alright, so this is the shell at the very least. Pulse the inventory. So, these are what I came up with before. Actually, these don't look as bad as I thought. I might just use these turrets. But yeah, so these are what uh, I came up with uh, beforehand. Uh, because uh, someone commented earlier saying there better be flak. There will be no flak whatsoever. Hello, uh, Rustlebocken. Um, because... Uh, flak and time fuses... Well, flak doesn't play well with spin-blocked planes because it messes with the explosion physics when you have sub-objects stacked uh, inside each other. And time fuses don't play well with automatic detection settings because it's just automatic detection isn't as accurate as um, custom detection settings. So, we're not doing that. We're doing something a little bit more wacky. This is exactly what it looks like. It is AP Heat, which is a really stupid cell type, or at least it used to be. Um, cringe. Uh, simple weapons do not do not work very well against uh, these planes, simply because they're uh, really jank and they do death spiral and stuff, so you need very fast shells and you need a constant rate of fire. And I should mention, part of the plan is, I don't know if we'll get to that this stream, is uh, to have radar guarded missiles, which I know is cheating, but whatever. Um, that have harpoons on them that'll reach out, uh, pull the planes in closer so we can shoot them a bit quicker. Because the whole point is to have a ship that can shoot down these janky planes really quickly without using lasers or particle cannons, because we can't use them. <laughs> yeah, Mamu, that's basically it. So, uh, the, the change that uh, made this somewhat more effective is the fact that uh, these... Uh, combination AP shells can pierce through things uh, without needing a fuse, which means that 
you're damned either way. So basically, there's also a super cavitation base here, just in case. Uh, what was I saying? Alright, so... It either punches through the block, destroys it, and carries on. Or it doesn't, and then the heat charge goes through it instead. So... Pretty versatile, more effective than it looks. Probably not as effective as other shell types, but it works great against things which are horribly spin blocked. So let's go here, let's go... What is the... Let's go find a, yeah, Mitsubishi squad. So we go here. Oh, hello, that's not what I expected. So we're doing pretty well. This is not actually what I wanted to spawn in, but that's okay. Yep, so that's why the heat is really good, because it just, uh, it zips through armor and it... Uh, start zapping off the sub-objects inside these things. It's not the plane I wanted. I keep forgetting what plane it is. It's, uh... Damn it, what was it? No, not that one. I never, I never remember this. Okay. Do we have a... Yes, there we go. These are the ones that tend to be very, very jank. Assuming these aren't the fixed versions. So, yep, these might be the fixed versions, because that looked very smooth. Okay, they're making love to each other, that's okay. Okay, never mind, these guys... I can't tell, are these the new... are these new? These are flying very well, they haven't flopped to the ocean yet. That's annoying. It'll make this much harder to test drive. Hmm... Yeah, radar guided missiles, man. Okay, so, yeah, I think we're just gonna roll with these guns. We're gonna start there. And because I am super lazy, I uh, don't think there's gonna be any super firing uh, ones. I do need to... So, yeah, these are rail assist, by the way. So, these shells move at... 1.5 thousand meters per second, which means, yeah, okay, here we go. This is the idea, is that when they go completely jank and, like, bugger off into space, we can still hit them. Yeah, that was working very nicely. Very, very nicely indeed. Yay. Yeah, these are the non-jank version, unfortunately. Well, it's okay, we can still, we can still roll with that. So, we need to remember multiple things. We need to prefab this guy. And I have saved so much time already by pretty much building the turrets first, because that's one of the more, uh, that's one of the more time-consuming parts of building, well, anything, really. And let's start building the thing. And must remember not to make canoe. Because canoe is, you know, we, we've got to have a variety, you know. Uh, two, three, four, five. So the plan is we're going to have at least four of these guys. And yeah, that's a big turret because uh, I've learned the hard way that you do need to do a fair amount of armoring. Uh, on your turrets, especially in Finest Hour, because freaking everything has heat or hesh or a high armor piercing. So, yeah, you need to do that. Well, yeah. Uh, rail assisted? Well, yeah, rail assisted is needed because um, you need very fast shells, and also a lot of Finest Hour craft have rail guns. Um, they just do, so technically, that blamed your dog, not me, and I made a prefab and a sub-object placeholder, so if you see here, this is the prefab menu in this placeholders, and then there's the sub-object menu, which is different, which is also placeholder, so yeah, all good, I didn't override anything. Proper super this time? Hopefully. Yeah, and cringe, yeah, my head is kind of full of canoes, I'm trying to beat my canoe addiction. But it's hard. It's so hard. Okay, so we're here. We are going to have a proper super sword. This is not going to resemble like any kind of World War II thing. Right, let's go there. And then I want to go here. I'm going to 
bit further because there's gonna be super in between here and there. What the hell? Oh, okay. I have placed two of them. This will not do. This is also going to be a long skinny girl. So, how many is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so we'll do nine. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And this. this could fail horribly. There's failure is always an option. So yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Meow, meow, meow. Okay, a little bit more. A little bit more. There's gonna be super uh, in between all of this. Let's go here, yes. Okay, so there we have the very basic layout. There's gonna be secondaries here, there, and everywhere. This is, nah, it's not gonna be that big. It's mostly just gonna be very long. So it's 144 meters right now. It might end up being around 200. Uh, but first, we need to and lay out the basic armor scheme. So, it's not going to be super heavily armored because this thing isn't designed to fight ships. It's designed to fight things which are not ships, so... There we go. So, alloy deck, because alloy deck is very nice, it's nice and buoyant, nice and light, means the thing shouldn't roll over too much. And we've got some of this, we've got nice metal inner hull, we the turret between front and rear super. Yeah, I'm gonna avoid super firing turrets just for this one, just for simplicity's sake. Um, yeah, it's good. this is gonna be a weird ship. Yeah. Uh, oh no, Bevel. Oh no, Bevel, like, uh, small ships, uh, are not good. <laughs> are, they're not very good, uh, in, uh, well, in any campaign, but especially Finest Hour. Uh, yeah, we need, we need this thing to be able to take on swarms of aircraft all by itself. So, we're gonna go over here. Probably also gonna stick torpedoes on this, so we're not gonna go too mental. Uh, heavy armor? Nah. Like, we'll, we'll see how we do without any heavy armor. We aren't gonna need to combat test this thing a bit. Not the entire turret harem is a... That, I have never had good results uh, with that driver. Um, it just, for, for some reason, it always never works out well. I don't know. It's just, it It's hard to explain, so I'm not gonna try explaining, but every time I've just upped the turret, a bit. Uh, it just hasn't worked. It just has not worked very well. We could do that, but you know what? I just don't feel like it. I'm just not in the mood for super firing turrets, and we're all gonna have to accept that. Might change my mind. This could be a first draft. Yeah, yeah the front super firing? Yeah. Nah, this thing is gonna get surrounded by planes very quickly, so... You gotta have poles. You gotta have poles, baby. Gotta have poles. Pole position and pole position because air gap plus kinetic resistance is very nice. What the hell was this? No. No, no, no. No, no, no. We need a poles there too. Multiple AI for each uh, air turret. Well, let's see how we do. I'm very much in the mood of keeping things simple, unless we really need to do things that are not simple. Okay, let's go way over here. How are we doing? This thing is okay. This thing isn't too expensive so far, and is very long, but also not very 
not very tall and not very wide, so dimensions are looking good. And we secondary many ones at close quarter obliterators. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Remember, trying to keep things simple. Trying to keep things as simple as possible. These four guns uh, should be enough to handle swarms of most planes. I will probably have to stick kind of sea some kind of sea whiz on this uh, to shoot bombs down because they hurt. As it turned out, they hurt a lot. All right. Okay. Let's go. I want there to be a wet space under here. That's true. That's plenty. Thinks. All right. Right. Wet space. Wet space. Wet space. Wet space. There we go. Hopefully, this thing won't have horrible trouble being buoyant, but that's okay. And by okay, I mean it's okay. Okay. Might need assistance. Might need PID assistance because she is a long, skinny girl. Not gonna be a canoe. Anyone who says canoe will be instantly banned. I'm just kidding. You're allowed to say canoe. People have already said canoe. Okay, let us save this before we get too crazy. Finest hour unnamed stuff is where we need to go. Unnamed craft. Hey, mm -mm. hey, hey, cruiser. We're also gonna have to make this thing look AA, if that makes sense. Okay, see ya, cringe. The sides will be very flat. Yeah, the sides are gonna be flat. Do do do. Will we do a pagoda? I never remember what that means. We're going to have two superstructures. We're going to kind of have the... From my understanding, the you can basically divvy up superstructure into the... I guess... Ugh, this, I'm not going to know the correct terminology for this, but the command center where... Uh, like, you know, the captain and admiral and whatever sits. And that's going to be here. And then there's just going to be deck space in between here. And then over here is going to be where the smokestack is. So there's going to be two superstructures uh, with these middle guns snug in between them. So it means that we probably won't need to do multiple AI just because of the position of the guns and of the planes flying around. It means they'll all be shooting at different targets anyway. Or they'll be focus firing because this will be set to broadside setting. So let's go. Yep, okay. Just going to fill in this deck first. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Honest. <laughs> there we go, there we go, there we go. That is going to be really awkward, but eh, we will live with that. From Super, no, we are not doing Super Firing Turrets. Apologies to all the people who really like Super Firing Turrets. We're not doing it. We are not doing that right now. We might change our minds and you know, let's see how daft this will look. How, how daft will this look? That might look okay. One of the main problems with having these guys as uh, super fine turrets is because uh, the barbette, uh, you need a really strong barbette uh, if you're going to have elevated turrets of any kind. And these guys are necklace turrets, and I, now that I think about it, I don't actually want to put these uh, auto loaders above deck. So, yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. We're actually gonna need a neck if we want to do that. <laughs> Thank you, Fluffy Cat. I, these look kind of good, and it was kind of a complete accident. I was mainly just wanting to stick heavy armor poles in them. Okay, now, as is my want, I do the front. Maybe, 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 maybe. Hang on, 
I'm going to... I'm going to look up some inspiration quickly, so... Thankfully, we're on exactly the right campaign um, for fun stuff to be spawned in. Also, let's see if this thing floats already. Because it does have some heavy armor in the turrets. Barely. Nope, it is sinking. Okay, turn that off. Don't sink completely now. Okay. Now I want to spawn something in. Let's spawn in the Fuso. I just want to have a look at the hull shape. The Fuso is actually not what I was after, so nope. Nope, 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 nope. What, what the hell was it? What the hell was it? It was the... Ah, there was the Fubuki, that's right. Circular layout... Thank you, I also like the barrel sleeves. Sure, I can do it, uh, most wanted on the Deimos and Empyrean. Um, don't hold your breath, I have been very bad at doing most wanted recently. Great Talent Empyrean is the strongest craft in the campaign as of this patch, I think. Really? I was firing at the Imperium uh, not long ago, and I think the Singularity still has it beat. One layer of the false alloy, maybe. That's a curve all the way, just this pronounced on destroyers. Alright, so let's see here. Actually, I'd say poles are pretty reliable because they don't reduce kinetic damage nearly as much as slopes or wedges, but... Okay, yeah, you see, this is pretty flat, actually. This is the kind of hull layout I want to go for. And I might just prefab this entire superstructure and steal it. Because why the hell not? This is, uh... I think I might just do that. Uh... Blah, 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 blah. Might steal this, hot, this front bit, actually, as well. Or not. Oh, yeah, there's that staggered hull right there. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, this is good. This is good inspiration. It is nice just to be able to spawn something in and just rip it off wholesale. Very latest patch. Yeah, I've been playing the game since the latest patch. Alright, so now we're here. And so we're here. And I've learned the hard way that if you're gonna do armor schemes, you should do it all the way around. Let's see, one, two, three, and then one, two, three, and then one. How terrible does that look? It's interesting, I think, over here. Yeah, no wave breaker. Well, not really. Modest wave breaker, so let's go here. And am I going to bother with... Eh, it doesn't make too much of a difference. Just resign myself to doing this a bit. Ah, the music is so nice. Raise the bow, it'll make the tech. Nope, I'm not making a canoe. At least one quarter of the length looks good to me. Eh, uh, well, the thing is, uh, hard to have. Actually, yeah. No, no, you're right, driver. You're absolutely spiffing right. We can make, we can make this longer, and we shall. The trick is to alternate a little bit. Yeah. So this is. We just mentioned canoes. Is what I often do. Uh, with canoes, it's just this kind of slope staggered thing. But it works well in this case. Yeah, yes, yes, and now we can narrow it right down. And hopefully, let's see how that goes. That's better. That is better. Is it good enough though? Because we can go, we can do more. Do, 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 do. At least one quarter of the length. Yeah, one quarter of the length is a bit long. Let's go look over here for inspiration again. One quarter of the length. Yeah, that you see where the uh, the bow starts to slope on the on the Fubuki. I 
totally didn't just check the name again. That's not even... Eh, literally using my fingers. Actually, yeah. No, 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 no. You're right. That's like half of it. Okay. It's like half of it. Mm. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. All right, we'll go a little bit longer, more pointy. People are going to freaking call this a canoe, though. I just know it. They're going to see the pointy bow and go, ha ha, canoe, and then I will cry. And then it'll be your fault. Just you, the person watching, it'll be your fault. Mostly driver. Okay. In the back between the first and second turn. Yeah, nope, nope. Nope, 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 not doing that. Not doing that. Nope. I'm doing what I want. This is my party, and I will <laughs> make bad design decisions if I want to. Okay, let's go here, yeah, here, yeah, and... Crud. Okay, there we go. It's here, and now we're going to do absolute heresy and use a whole bunch of horizontal poles now. <laughs> no, there we go again. Like, that might have been because I said it, but yeah. The canoe building. It begins. The, or at least the people saying that the canoe building begins. Eh. <laughs> okay, so there we have Zibao. Ow, ow, ow. There and there, staggered slope, and uh, three to four meter transition. Right, yay! Okay, so that's a decent enough bow right now. Bow right now. All right, let's uh, do this down here. Probably gonna paint this whole thing red because why not? And yeah, right. hmm. interesting. Interesting what I've done here. Do, do, do. Okay. Do, 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 do want to make sure that that is very nice, or at least nice enough. There you go. <laughs> Length of eight. Thank you very please. Height of that. Let's see if we can cheat and make prefab magic happen. If there's just a whole bunch of these. Perfect. Perfect, I say. Cool, that saved a bit of time. Now we gotta do this. We gotta do this. What are you saying? Offset transition bow? Yeah, nah. Ru uh, rules to the bucket. Well, you just saw me do it, so you can just do what I did, I guess. And yeah, no offset uh, transition bow right now. Oh no, this is going to be very canoe-like. Uh, uh, okay, we're going to... Okay, we're going to cheat a little bit. There's going to be some kind of way to break it down here. Because if it slopes upward like that, it's going to be too canoe-like. We don't want that. We don't want that at all, no. How's that, though? Whoops. Hey there, that did make things a little better. What's this? Okay, there we go. Kind of a wave breaker, but not really. Is that three meters? There we go. Alright, that kind of looks okay-ish. Can we do better, though? Don't think so. Uh, wave breaker. Okay, good. Uh, wave breaker is um, darn it. It's the cl the clue is in the name. It's so that um, a ship can maintain full speed even when going through like uh, heavy waves, or at least go faster, or at least not you know smash its bow open. I actually do kind of like that bow. That's a that's a good bow. It's a simple bow, 
but it gets the point across. It looks like a bow. Bow, wow, wow. All right, that's looking already pretty cruisy. How are we doing for cost? This thing is actually still kind of cheap for, um, what's packing? So now let's do that. Okay, nope, first we need to finish this off. Do this right here. What the hell did just happen? Okay, let's turn that off, turn that off. Boop. And now let's see here. There we go. We can probably seal that off. Now we need to do the thrilling thing of just having continuous poles around because I don't want to do the thing that often is done, uh, which is uh, just saying, eh, bugger it, and letting- Ooh, We could hide a rudder in here, maybe. What was I saying? Alright, so I don't want to do the thing where it's just a whole bunch of, like, you know, you just armor the middle bit and then uh, leave the bow and the stern pretty much unarmored, because I keep having a horrible time when that happens. I could add missiles in. That could be where I could add missiles. I was thinking of turrets, actually, for the missiles. Uh, not sure where I was going to hide them. Okay. Also to handle my weapon. Yeah. Yep, toast. Those are single turrets. Uh, because, fun fact, single turrets actually are better uh, in From the Depths these days. You really only need to do multi turrets. Um, whoopsie. Uh, when, uh, like, you do get the... When the math works out, basically. It's all math. It's all math to me. And now the bow has a crap ton of poles, so if we get shot from the front, it's all okay. Some Who was it? Somebody suggested making one of these uh, pole layers alloy. A lot of finest hour craft do that, but I'm hesitant. Has it done? To do that. This is actually very heavily armored for a cruiser. Not even using heavy armor. Might be doing that thing I sometimes do, which is like. Eh. So then this is probably. You know what? I am going to stick alloy in here, so the nose sticks out of the water. Also because this is overkill for the front. Complete overkill for the front. We just made a front sider. Damn it. Okay. It's weird. Not sure if that's gonna work. That is very heavily armored. Just as well. I know people literally just said it, but I wasn't planning on sticking anything in the front. forgotten anything th thank you I've gotten decently okay at guessing how expensive a thing is going to be and this is basically I'm trying not to make another battleship that's the main thing I'm trying to avoid save that what was driver talking about oh yeah making that higher hey that's the kind of thing that requires thought forethought which I'm not good at I might do the complete opposite Uh, the reason I have dual layers of pole armor uh, is because this is also he this is heat and hash protection, yes, but also it's kinetic protection because there's some pretty vicious AP shells flying around in Finest Hour, and um, a double layer of poles uh, will just help with that a lot. Just a single pole layer might not cut it. And these are just metal poles. Like looking at the armor scheme of things like the Yamato. Uh, there's, uh, there's a lot of poles in there. There's like, I think it's like a double, triple layer of alloy poles or something? It's ridiculous. Okay, I'm going to not worry about that right now. Okay. 
Refab all of that. All of that. Whoops. now. Whoops. Yeah. Crud. Why did I do that? Okay, no, it's offset. It's the offset. There we go. That's what, that's what me likey. And that goes there. We've got a funny looking, yeah, I like that. I like that. No one else might like it, but I do. Okay, that was reasonably straightforward. I just remember the freaking USS Atlanta, of which, let me show you this, guys. Side-by-side -side, uh, comparison. Okay, let's go over here, let's pull you lot out of play for a second. And I'm going to spawn in. Uh, USS, so this is, eh. all right, so where's the, let's just check it. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. Okay, uh, what was I doing? Alright, so here is the. Oops, nope, 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 nope. I didn't mean to spawn it in on that team. Damn it. Okay, let's go here, spawn it on my team. This is just an aside, by the way. I want to I wanna show you the difference between. Uh, I think this is Judd Dog who made the, the Alaska. There you are. So this is Jadog's Alaska, and I'm just going to spawn in the replica I made some time ago. So you turn off, and spawn in, where is it? I think it's in Funcraft. What the? Maybe it's in replica boards? Where the hell did I put the thing? Ah, here it is. <laughs> it's the only thing in here. Let's see, let's let's compare and contrast. Like Jadogs is gonna be so much better, I just know. Oh my goodness it is. Right, so. No lagging, stop it. Alright, both of them were spawned underwater a bit. Alright, so. USS Alaska, Jadog, here's my one. Oh boy. What the hell happened here? All right, so let's look at this. Let's look at this. So sexy, 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 more sexy. That superstructure, though. Ay! <laughs> oh, never compare yourself with others. Your self-esteem will not like it. Your self-esteem will not like it. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh dear. Like the very basic details are all there, but oi. Yeah, let's see here. No, it's not your dog, it's this car. Don't know who that is, but yep. Oh boy. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. So, yeah, my Alaska is uh, not bad for a first attempt at a replica build, but then this. I just wanted to show everybody, like, what it looks like when. Someone who really knows what they're doing uh, does a replica build, especially if they make full use of decorations and stuff like that, because this this is just awesome. This is just awesome. And the deck looks better. Mine looks like the budget version, made of wood. Okay, also, are these things different lengths? Uh, length is 245. Really? Two hundred forty-six. Mine does not look longer. Actually, it is. Okay, that's uh, that's enough of that. Let's get back to what the stream's actually uh, supposed to be about. So you delete, and delete, and play you, and 
play you. Build on you. Okay then. Uh, where were we? Zibao. Zibao. Wow, wow. Oh boy. All right, uh, do I remember how to make a nice bow wow wow? I think so. I think so. The bow, I start up here. And I'm gonna make this round. Or at least more rounded, so. Check on our friend the Fabugi again. What does her butt look like? Show me your butt. Her butt looks actually quite pointy. Actually, no, it's not that pointy. All right, reasonably long. Okay, I'm not sure why I'm using the Fabuki. It's just I've been shooting at the Fabuki a lot, and it's like I oh, know it fits. It feels like it fits. <laughs> Same as the front, but shorter. That's a recipe for canoe, and uh, I ain't a fan of that. Shocking, I know. Uh, let's go here, here. So let's just do here, 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 here. Hmm. I'm gonna copy uh, the Fubuki actually and have this be a little longer. Just a little bit. Actually, wait, 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 wait. I know what to do. We just adjust the pattern a little bit. So there, it's gonna be slope. Two of these. One, two. And one, two. Slope. One, two, now we do the threes, the twos, three, two, nope, okay, nope, I was wrong, I was wrong, I was horribly wrong, alright, there we do, yes, there we go, that still looks a little blunt, I am not okay with it, is that better? That is better, actually. Uh, naming theme for the campaign. What is my naming theme? It's kind of all over the place. Let's see here. Find this hour campaign. It's um, birds and reptiles by the looks of it, except not really. Yeah, so it's like you've got Anol, uh, Anol, Komodo, Pitahui, which is a bird, coward pigeon, mother duck, flying emu. Um, that's a retrofitted build. Garial. And then we've got the spy bat, just because it looks like a bat. So it's kind of... It's animals, I guess. <laughs> uh, make the butt a crack. Yeah, let's not do that. We'll hide a butt crack. Like, remind me to hide a butt crack. Uh, in this. Oh, perfect. Whoops. Nope. Let's do the opposite. Let's do this. And that is a sexy, sexy bow. I like that bow. This is a long girl. 231. Yeah, this thing is going to make mincemeat out of a lot of things, actually. There's not anything that's more expensive than it. Okay, so there we have the bow. And now, the fun part about the bow, I'm just gonna... I'm pretty sure I know uh, how to do the bow for this realistic-ish, but let's just check. Yes, okay, yeah, slope, radically slope. It's gonna look nothing like this, but um, it is gonna be. My ships always have a really low water line, and I'm not sure if I'm okay with that. All right, let's see here. Ugh, must use brain. Must use brain. I'm not good at using brain. Okay, nope, that's not what I want. Alright. All right. 
already hooting. Do I have to do this piece by piece? Which is gonna make the insides interesting. Alright. What is Jack saying? Stern lower than the rest of the deck. I'm not. Sooty is not edible. Please don't eat sooty. No, no mana, no! That is actually not what I wanted. <laughs> okay, what block fits in here again? Yay, that worked. Okay, okay. This hurts my brain. This hurts my brain so much. Okay. Yep, drink up there. I feel ya. That is what I was thinking. Like, uh, no, do not eat the soot. Soot is nice. Soot is a good boy. That's not what I wanted. Okay, we need to do this again. Now there's a slope. Okay. Man, what did we do before we had these square corners? What did we even do, guys? With the pangolin. What the? Okay. Yep, yeah, like, I don't know. It's like. It doesn't look very pangolin like. It's mostly just very long. Uh, Pangolins are adorable though, like, they are legit adorable, but they are the most adorable thing you have ever seen in your life. Okay, that's not what I wanted. I've made life very complicated for myself here. Very complicated. Actually, no, I haven't. I haven't made it complicated at all. Nobody panic! Alright. Okay, no woody panic. Says the man who's Don't panic, that's my job. That's one of my, that's my catchphrase. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, whoops. Like how I say yes and then it's like whoopsie whoopsie. Okay, how much are we gonna do here though? Is the question. Crud. Uh, I took 45. Should I eat? A uh, wake up early for spicy noodles. You don't want. Man. Yeah, don't eat at 10:45 at night. <laughs> uh, penguins. Grass lizard. Yeah, well, yeah, some kind of lizard would do. Aircraft catapults. Tegu. <gasps> Tegu is a good one. Don't let me forget Tegu. Tegus are cool. Tegus are fun and cool and interesting. Alrighty, who then? Yes, 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 yes. And there we just have, we have achieved bow wow wow. Actually, not quite yet. Now we've achieved bow wow wow. And, 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 and. There we go. Very slopey. Very slopey. Super dopey. Not dopey. Like, I was meaning dope as a good thing, and I failed miserably. Okay, this thing is not allowed to get shot in the ass because it's apparently not got good armor back there. Transition! 3 to 4 meters. And 
then transition. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at that butt. Look at it. <laughs> Look at my butt. <laughs> and for absolutely no reason, I'm just gonna. Okay, we have achieved butt. We have achieved butt. <laughs> Big, long, and very friendly. Oh, boy. Alright, I think this is looking good. She's nice and narrow. I've been meaning to make a more narrow craft uh, for a long time, actually. Let's actually just go check on the Fubuki a bit. How are you doing, girl? How's you doing? Alrighty, who then? Gun barrels do poke out over the rails, so that's okay. The sides are very, very flat. They're a bit bigger than the Fubuki, actually. Uh, let's actually move you right over here so we can see you. This is quite a long cruiser. Quite long. Quite long. Quite strong. Very narrow in here. Very narrow in here. You probably will be... Yeah, we can launch uh, vertically launched missiles in there. That'll be fine. Alright, so since people are probably dying for me to do that... Uh, let's an AI compartment, right? Did actually... Oh, bugger, I didn't put ejectors on here. Uh, these things are gonna blow up spectacularly. Hopefully not too bad. Okay, let's go here and find... Where is it? Control mechanisms. AI. Box. Medium. That's a perfect fit. Awesome source. I'm gonna put that away from the giant gun turrets. That did make us sink a little bit. Let's see. Is that all good? Is all good. It's making us tip over a bit. I don't like that. I do not like it. Do not like it at all. <laughs> they are not good. Okay. Let us finish putting the deck on. And we can get down to the super structure. Okay, yep, torpedoes, yep. Oh no, sample text, uh, ejectors do work on one meter loaders. They don't work on belt fed loaders though. Mm -hmm. Yep, okay, yeah, Nelmana said what I was gonna say. Between two and three turret. Uh, no. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Sorry, driver. <laughs> Armored size of the air, but still the AI and road for EMP protection. Finest Hour uh, doesn't have any EMP uh, using anything uh, in it. So that's not. I'm not worried about that. Not gonna worry about EMP protection because nothing in Finest Hour throws EMP at you, which is fortunate. It's one less thing to worry about. So it is really nice to play a campaign where you don't have to worry about EMP, particle cannons, or lasers. Is it correct? Yes, it is. Yes, it is correct. It's present and correct, sir. Oh, perfect. Perfecto. Perfecto. Now let's see if this thing can float now that it's got uh, alloy in all the right places. Might have accidentally made this thing a little bit heavy. Okay. Mm. <laughs> yeah, you've got to be careful with heavy armor. You've got to put it only where you think you need it. Like, I've got heavy armor poles in the turrets, but that's because 
the shells that get lobbed around in Final Tower tend to be really strong, and like anything less than that doesn't really cut the mustard. Doesn't really uh, make the condiments fly. Okay, let's go. Okay, so we've got closed deck now. Does this float though? Almost. She's a heavy girl. Oh no! Look at that! Okay, yeah, alright, so her deck is just above the water. I do have a habit of um, making things with really low water lines. Compare that to this. Alright, so let us now. Let's just chuck some air pumps in here. I am going to. Okay, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? I am gonna do this. I'm gonna seal these guys off, just so fragments don't get to where they shouldn't be. Zen air pumps. Lots of them. Where am I? I'm over here. Can't do that. I could have made those alloy, but I didn't. I might have to replace um, some of the poles with alloy poles, just um, as per what people were saying. What the hell happened here? Oh, this is the power. This is the bow. Oh yeah, I didn't. I didn't finish the bleeding armor uh, here in the bow. Here in the bow. Wow, wow. Let's just make sure. Do want lots of armor here, there, everywhere. Within reason. Okay. Now the soothing sound of banjo music to take over your soul. Do do do. <laughs> uh, stern, butt. Butt, stern. I uh, don't really have room in the turret wells uh, for air pumps. But I really should get in the habit of doing that because it seems silly not to, really. Perfect. Okay, and now I think mm, Yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna go all hog on the poles. On the poles we're going to go all hog. Oink oink. Within reason though. Oh dear. Maybe I should not do that. Or maybe I should do that. Four meters long. Oh, the internet's gonna be mad. Oh, the internet. <coughs> it's gonna be so bad. And we'll just leave that one there. No, no, we won't. We will make it. We'll make it complete. But there, there we go. Hmm. Yeah, 5x5 five five, five five requires open corners, yeah. Actually, alright, you know what? I'm going to, since you, since you say, let's see if that is correct. First off, though, we need to put a control seat on here, so we can do that thing. So, we're just going to put a temporary control seat over here. Where is it? Where is it? Control C. Boop and boop. So all the turrets can rotate. Oh, the back of it pokes out over the thing. Oh, that's that's annoying, but we'll live with it. Okay, so now let's see if what people say. Wow! Alright, so this is officially an anti air battle cruiser now. Uh, very long, very long indeed. Oh, okay. Uh, what was I doing? I was doing this. Right, so if I put an air pump in the corner, where's where 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 am I? Oh, okay, here I am. So here's the corner. Let's see here if that works. Because if it does, then this changes everything. Nope, sorry! 
Sorry, sorry. Nope, does not work. Does not work. Turret does not rotate. It is stuck. It is stuck. I could embed into the armor, maybe, yeah. Uh, yeah, target practice, I was uh, thinking of doing that, but, 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 the reason that uh, all these poles are orientated vertically is because this thing is going to get shot at mostly from the sides and the front, and you only get that kinetic damage reduction if um, the thing is coming at the curved part of the pole. So, if you orientate your poles, like, uh, the, like, okay, let's object lesson here. Object lesson, you hope for them on the So, if you have your pulse vertically, all around it, it gets that, uh, I forget how much it is, it isn't a huge amount. Um, but yeah, it gets that, uh, reduced, it re like, kinetic shells that come in get reduced damage. If you do this, um, that, it, like, it rotates up and down instead, so, going around it, uh, from the front, it'll take full, from the front and from the back, it'll take full kinetic damage, and then from the sides, it'll depend entirely on the angle, so it'll take full kinetic damage, well not full kinetic damage, it'll still be reduced, but um, yeah, it won't be, it won't be as reliable. And that's the main reason to use poles over slopes. Slopes are better, but they're only good from one specific direction, whereas uh, a vertical pole is like on a flat plane, 360 degrees has reduced kinetic damage. Takes reduced kinetic damage, I'd say. Yeah. Dip, dip, dip. Yeah, maybe. I'm not gonna worry about too much because I have space in here, baby. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some actual real bulkheads now. Uh, actually, no. No, no, no. I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna finish what I was doing. Because I wasn't done yet. I was not done yet. Do you see? Do you see? Was not done yet. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna hold off. I'm gonna stop the poles over here. Because I actually don't want to go completely mad on the bow, because the bow, hopefully, is not where this thing is going to get shot at most. So we'll just have the one layer of poles that'll do just nicely. Wow, there's not much room for bulkheads in here, actually. Do, 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 do. This is horribly inconsistent, and I do not like it. Actually, no, I do. Never mind, I like it. Cool. Okay, now bulkheads, and they're gonna be alloy, because we need the floaty floaty. We need the floaty floaty. Alright, so... see anything. Okay. So, multiple floaty floaty. Oops. Floaty floaty floaty. This is going to reduce uh, the room for missiles or anything. Okay, we will set that bridge on fire when we get to it. So, okay, so now we got a whole bunch of little cavities here, which people keep telling me I should do. Yep. No heat spoiling. <laughs> yeah. It's a risk I'm willing to take uh, with the Hesh maybe taking out everything. Which is probably also why it's a good idea to have multiple layers of poles. So now, this thing's booty is going to float quite well, and now we're going to do some bulkheads in the front. 
the very least, this thing is going to be very hard to shoot from the front and back. I tend to experiment a lot with these. Jeez. So much experimentation. Mm, where is it? Here's it. super clever and I'm going to be actually wasting a lot of this space. Now I understand why all the finest hourcraft use so much alloy. It's because it's for floaty floaty. Slopes. Right, so this is something that they do all the time. Slopes. One meter, one meter, very. What? Yeah, there's no room for the four meter slopes in here. What are you Look. There's no room. <laughs> Unless you're saying I angled them uh, like this. Yeah, no, that's not gonna work. That's not gonna reduce incoming kinetics. The beam slopes? What? Beam wedge thing. You mean this? Yeah, no, that isn't gonna fit either. So yeah, basic. What I'm doing is I'm copying something that I see in the Citadel armor of a lot of finest hourcraft, and it seems to work, actually, really well. Basically, if it zips through here, it just bounces off the slope and uh, not. Beam slopes sideways. You mean like this? Sideways 45. What? Text is hard to communicate. I'm gonna crack open me Coca-Cola now. The ones in the bottom left, bottom left corner. Bottom. These things? What? <laughs> What? Oh, these things. Why these exactly? Like, why? Why? <laughs> Don't be mean, driver! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fluffy Cat and Driver are now telling me to use different things. <laughs> I'm gonna sit here with my Coca-Cola. Easy against pulling. Okay, now I see what you're getting at. Okay. Okay, the reason... Okay. I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. I'm gonna stick with poles, though, for one very simple reason. Health of these slopes is 840, health of these things is over 1300. So, yes, technically, you are absolutely right, these are better against bowling and heat and stuff like that. These are more health, and so they'll be better against kinetic damage, which I'm also really worried about. So, yeah. So, yeah, like, there's, there's a lot of good suggestions that happening during the stream that in a different context... Uh, I would totally be on board with, but it's not what I'm trying to do right now. So, not today. Not today. Yes, yes. I, wi I win for now. <laughs> for now, I win. Don't worry. Don't worry. I will muff it some other way. 
Okay, I'm not sure what's going to be over here. I think I'm just going to have huge amounts of engines so this thing goes zoom zoom. Okay. I'm just copying what I'm seeing. Alright, so now it means we can have long flat engines and stuff. We might... Actually, we're going to have enough engines to uh, get the alloy clean out of the water. Ouch, that's loud. More armor. Well, I mean, I don't want this thing to get too thick because she's already kind of long. So, yeah. How are we doing? We're... Actually, we've gotten a lot done. We've gotten a lot done. So now, what we got here? We got this. Oh, perfect. All right, let's see here. Let me show you an engine prefab I have. All right, let's go here. Engines. Here's the Caterpillar Katarina. Let's go here. Is this thing three blocks tall? It is. down for health and safety and convenience. Oh, wow. We can have extra armor or something. All right, so this is just, it's a fuel injector engine of sorts. Put the engine in there. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, and let's zoom a little, make sure it all lines up. Damn it. That doesn't fit as well as I would have liked. Caterpillar, Caterina. Go here. And let's do that. Alright, so you need... Alright, cool. We've already got 2,000 power. That's nice. I'm going to put more engines over here. Ammo compartments are going to be somewhere slightly different. Fuel injectors, they're not, they're not injectors. They're not injectors. These are carburetor engines. <laughs> I love, <laughs> I love how people just panicked and assumed that I was using injector engines. And to be fair, the engines did get a, did get a bit of a, Aesthetic overhaul, uh, not too long ago, so they do look different, but <laughs> everyone panicked. Oh, uh, turbochargers. Right, so yeah, this is not the most efficient engine in the world, but it's efficient enough for our evil purposes. And yes, I am going to do this right here. I'm going to do some delicious ducts at the bottom, and so now it is all okay. No one panic. It is my job. Okay, let's see here. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy, everyone just freaked out. <laughs> BPM under load. Uh, unpopular opinion. Hey, well, been a while, then welcome back, uh, Chaotic Strike. XX Chaotic Strike. The X makes it cooler. Okay, I can do fun things in here. I can uh, put an extra armor layer. I can put extra fuel. I can do fun stuff. Right, so we've got roughly 3,000 power. That's noise. That's noise. That's nice. Gotta remember to flip this thing upside down. So these little points down. Yep. Middle. Yep, 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 yep. And ta da. Okay, so that is not fitting as nicely as I would have liked. It's okay. It is okay. I'm leaning forward too far in my chair. Mature in mature. Okay, cool. Right, we now have roughly 6,000 engine power, which isn't a hell of a lot, but it will do, I think. <laughs> it needs more wing. Jeez. Mm. I like using fuel engines just because it's easy. I I'm still not super good with steam. 
Also, the, my build style tends to favor things that uh, switch rapidly between using a lot of power and using very little, so... Yeah, that's, that's my story and I'm going to stick with it. Let us now... Okay, so we got some fuel, but now we need Amro. And how do I do ammo? Ammo, ammo. I'm gonna put that in the middle here, which is a long way from anything else. And unlike the AI, I'm going to be clever with this space. Hopefully I'm clever enough to make this work. Right, let's see here. Okay, also what I should do, what I should do is over here, somewhere in the AI compartment or somewhere similar, I should put down the ammo customizer. Where can I fit you? Where can I fit you? This is a long thing. This is six blocks long. Could get, give this a compartment of its very own. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. stick in here. I'm just going to stick this. <laughs> Got multiple layers of Citadel on in here. Alright, so now we can see how much ammo we need. Okay, wow, we don't need much ammo at all. Which means we can really go nuts on the missiles. On the missiles and the torpedoes. The advantage of having extra space to do things. Hopefully this oops. Hopefully this thing isn't underpowered for its size. That would suck. What did I just do? Eh. Alright. Done that. I feel like giving this thing a test run. Okay. <laughs> okay, overall plan, Nico. Is well yep, QQ boom, that uh Okay, so the weird Tetris thing right here. This is a defense against your ammo cooking off all at once. And I don't remember who told me about this, but they are wonderful for telling me because what this does is, is that um, uh, this thing does about ooh, just shy of 5,000 explosive damage, which means that the health of a 2 meter metal beam is just enough to survive it so it means that uh, if one something pokes through here gets through heavy armor and cooks off one of these ammo storage uh, containers uh, it means that it's not going to destroy the entire compartment that's the idea anyway I need to test this thoroughly but I think it works pretty well actually and this kind of alternating uh, thing uh, seems to work well to stop your ammo compartment just instantly exploding once it's breached um, if enough um, if enough blocks are taken out all at once, though, the whole thing will cook off still, so it's not foolproof. Uh, heavy armor would work better, but uh, metal is cheaper, so that's uh, that's why I do that thing. Okay, then, this thing is actually going pretty well. I'm going to work on the propulsion now. Where's the drag? The drag is over here. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick a PID in here, because I do want it to... Be a little bit, just a little bit, out of the water. Okay. Where are we? We are here. We're a her her. 
Actually, I don't even need all this general purpose processing uh, power, because we're not really going to need detection. But we're going to stick a basic PID in here anyway. Actually, I'm going to... to uh, I was hoping not to do this, but this is what tends to happen with things that are tall. Not tall, but just skinny, that don't float well. You are a pusher. You are a roller. Rollin, rollin, rollin. Rollin, rollin, rollin. Rollin, 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 raw hat. Okay, let's go here. Let's see. Yep. Uh, I pre still prefer using, uh, you know, the actual PIDs, because if you turn off the AI, uh, all the PIDs stop working if it's, you're using AI PIDs. Yep, I only... Yeah, let's go with the small duct. Let's go with the small duct. And... Let me just actually show you guys first uh, what it looks like uh, when you use the AI PIDs. So let's just get those ducts in first. Ducts, quack, quack. Quack, 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 quack. What the hell did I just... Okay. Okay, that was dumb. Do, 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 do. Alright, so now we're here. You go away for a second. So I can concentrate. So, so we do need a maneuver. Ship or tank. And now hover adjustments on water. All right, so you see that hover thing is working, and unless I'm mistaken, uh, if you turn the AI off, oh hey look, yep, there it goes. It turns off. That's why I'm not using AI PIDs, uh, at least not for hover. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yep, the detection is already set to 1. That's why I'm not sure about using detection detection. I have it on all my other finest hour ships, but that's like more force of habit than anything else. Okay. Now I put the PIDs in. Dump. Dumpty 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 dum. Control mechanism. Basic PID setup. Oh, old faithful, I love you. Of course, the set point of. Set that to 1. Yeah, that'll do. All right, we do need pitch control. We do need a little bit of pitch control. Just a little bit. All right, where are ya? Where are ya? There you are. Wrong. What's chat saying? Chat is saying... True, true. Uh, I guess having it sink... Well, no, having it sink helps it slow down. So in the context of avoiding land, if it's already over land, then... Uh, yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying, but also that could backfire as well, so... Also, I guess you could turn it off to save fuel, but this thing is really low in the water, and I don't want to do that. So, nah. Wait, are we... Alright, this is already working. This actually, weirdly, weirdly enough, it has a kind of modern feel to it. Like, it feels like a modern cruiser. 
There is that bloody car alarm again. That exact car keeps going off. And I don't know who keeps trying to break into it or whether the car just has very sensitive feelings, but my goodness, whoever owns that car needs to fix it, really, because that annoys the entire neighborhood. Oh my goodness. Convertible submarine. To the bottom of the tips. That's actually a very good idea. Hello, Ret Ret new I can't pronounce that. Okay, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for reminding me this front part is gonna be rubber because, uh, yeah, this, uh, this thing isn't gonna turn very quickly. I keep doing this. Why do I keep making long things that don't turn well? Absolute dingus. Oh, that blood car alarm. Ah! I hate it! I hate that so much. Mm, I really need to do this with all my ships, really. But I keep forgetting. Whoops. Seriously, I hope the owner of that car has a horrible accident and he needs to... Okay, it's stopped now. It's gonna start up again any second, though. Just you wait. Just you wait. Oh, I can still hear it in my head. It's not going away. Ah! <laughs> I just thought it was part of the music. Well, I'm glad for that because it's like, oh boy. Uh, yeah, it goes bop 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 bop. Uh, Lord, Lord, have mercy on all of us. Why is the music gone? Oh just very soft okay that's better okay rubber front all right that'll be better than nothing all right and uh, what were we what were we doing what were we doing seriously guys I just forgot what we were up to uh, oh whoa, 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 whoa. In before. Oh, I wish I could do voodoo. Oh, I wish I could do voodoo. I would voodoo so hard, you don't even know. It's actually not very accurate. Um, when people talk about, you know, voodoo dolls and stuff like that, uh, voodoo is a legit religion. It's like voodoo or voodoo. It comes from West Africa, and it's usually a lot of uh, voodoo practitioners are actually devout Catholics as well, so. Their gods, quote-unquote, are kind of in practice a lot like Catholic saints. In that, um, basically, the idea is that the big G, uh, the big um, god himself, you don't bother him, so you talk mainly to his, the intermediaries, like... What are they called again? Loa, I think. Don't quote me on that. But yeah, it's like... Hollywood voodoo is not real voodoo. Like, that sounds... Really obvious, but I feel it's worth it. I don't intend to piss off people who can stab needles into the doll version of me. And there I just eliminated all of my street grid. Okay, I'm liking where this is going. I'm liking where this thing is going. How much time? We got a half an hour left. Blow me down. Oh, Kegu. Oh, thank you, Bevel. See you later. To Voodoo or. No. Inner layer pose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, you know it. You're right. You're absolutely right. We need to do that. Inner layer of poles, alloy. Because we're having buoyancy issues. We're having buoyancy issues. Here we are. Yeah. Oops. There we go. I think someone did the math at one point saying that like one alloy pole can keep like two metal poles afloat. So hopefully this will help this thing do the floaty float a lot better than it's currently doing.
And we are back here too. Just replacing all my coals. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Cool, 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 cool. This might result in this thing's all sticking up in the air, but that's okay. We'll deal with that with that later. What kind of docker can these guns do, sir? No matter. Okay, good night, rolling chair. Oh dear. Wow. Scary. Uh, what kind of docker? These are uh, AP heat. So they're really good against small compact things, which is exactly the kind of thing I want these things to shoot at and murder most terribly. Uh, little thin blocked planes. I'm also going to see if the armor stands up to what I want to do. You know what I might do? It might be a very stupid idea, but I might actually add an anti a seawiz controller to these guns so they can pull double duty. So they can, if a bomb gets dropped on them, they can just deal with it. They can deal with it all by themselves. Which will be very nice. It'll be very... Okay, good. There we go. I scared myself, but it's okay. I scared myself, but it's okay. And yes. Okay. Save that. Let's see. Do you do the floaty float better? You do. Look at that. All right. That's a little better. She should sink slightly less enthusiastically now. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, yep. Crap. I'm so glad people reminded me. This thing is a rail gun, so it needs rail stuff. It needs batteries and stuff to charge it. Thankfully, we've got all this empty space in here. And yeah, let's see here. What is good? Actually, you know what I'm gonna do for now is see if this engine can uh, generate enough battery power. Also, this is a golden opportunity to use the space leftover space right here for battery power. I can stick the steam engines in here on the sides though. Ooh, that'd be good. Actually, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're doing that. We're doing that. We're doing that. Now. Doing that. Doing that. Battery. Broccoli. Celery. Battery. I think, hang on, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, bugger. Steam time, yeah. Well, railguns are illegal in finest hour, yes. Yes, they are. Yeah. Let's see here, let's just... What are we gonna do? I'm just gonna put some... I don't know, some extra batteries over here. 1, 2, 3... Actually, that kind of fit. If these things get blown up, we're gonna need less battery anyway. It's all right. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Okay. Let's see here. These things connect on both sides, which is good. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna start with small ones and see. Did I put these backwards? It was the question. I did. There we go. Is heavy? 
Oh my word, batteries are heavy. Good thing we've got extra alloy poles. Alrighty, so we got this. Also, we can probably stick some ACBs in here. Um, how much? Let's actually stick the ACBs over here, because we're just, we only want these things. Let's see. If I start firing all the guns, let's just look at the battery count. Oh yeah, that's fine. That's A-OK -okay and fine and dandy. Awesome. Doing good. Alright, uh, it's been an hour and a half. Let's shoot something. Also, I want to see how well this thing's armor holds up. Uh, let's go there. Let's... I think, what is this? This is the Torpedo Bomber Squadron, I think. Oh yeah, batteries are expensive. Uh, what, uh, oh yeah, fire, fire physics. I think these are the torpedo... Yep, they are. Let's see how our hull does. Alright, so that's immediately one plane shot down. That's two of them. Three of them. Alright. And we've got three torpedoes coming in. Let's see how our armor scheme does. Armor scheme... Survive that. Good. Yeah, it's like these planes are getting instantly downed now. That's pretty good. We might not even need the harpoon missiles. Fast shells, baby. Fast shells. The recoil is pushing the whole ship around a bit, though. Just in case. Yeah. Okay, beautiful, 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 beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, nice, nice, lovely, lovely. And it's murdering something that's in space. That's good. To put radar dishes or something on these turrets just so you can you can see that that uh, oh wow we're even zapping this thing that's in a death spiral awesome I say that and then we don't no nope, we did come on you can do it you only need to get lucky once Damn these annoying death spiral planes. Yeah, definitely going to need backup missiles for this. They're going to totally just be anti-air rockets, guys. This mug. <gasps> yep, thank you, driver. I'm so sorry. I forgot to... I forgot to do that last time. But now, yes. Yes, yes, yes. We will do that thing. We will, in fact, stick... Smoke block. What? Here. Whoops. Nope. Actually, no. You need two of them. Damn it. How are we going to do this? Oh, we're going to do it like this. We can because mm, we need the smoke to come from a. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I could be clever. I could be clever with mimics. I could be clever, but do I? Can't am I clever enough? Offset them. <laughs> Maybe. Oh uh, yeah, let's offset them. Let's let's do that thing. Fortunately, yeah. Hmm. One. 
hopefully people won't notice. And decoration, smoke generator. So speed is going to be one. Size factor is going to be three. Size factor is going to be one. Gonna be set to speed, I think. So speed. Okay, so if it's in between. If it's between one that it will set the uh smoke generators. Uh, smoke. Go. What the hell did I just do? Okay, so if it's not that, it will set it to. Ah. That's not right. Okay, let's set that to two instead. Or maybe forward propulsion. With range here. Yeah. Alright, let's see that. Alright, so now I'm gonna forget all about those little things. And now let us put some propulsion on this th okay, yeah. Yeah, 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 we did take some damage. We took did take some damage. Alright, where is drag? Drag is there. So if I I want to, I want to stick, big propeller, uh, here, okay, let's go, okay, so let's go, let's go, can we do five meters, we can, alrighty, medium five, let's do that, just stopped. Medium crank rotor. Good, 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 good. Okay, how's that looking? Okay, good. And rudder. Okay then. Rudder go here. Maybe I should do custom rudder. But for now, let's do regular rudder, see how we do. Turn that off. Oh, never mind. Whoa, this thing was rolling. She's cruising along. Okay, disable that. Let's actually put some maneuver on you. Uh, what do I want in life? Okay, adjustments. 
spoons, two spoons, two spoons. Okay, so now reverse. And let's go 50. Now I'm going to pathfinding. Maneuver, additional, cool, cool. Let's fix this. Uh, maneuver. You can holler, yes. Does that. Cool. Wedge blocks with a rudder mount, maybe? Maybe. Let's see here. Can we do that? Alright, so this thing is... Okay, yeah, that's rolling. It's rolling a little bit, but it's okay. Alright, let us now... Let's just for giggles, let's see how expensive is this thing so far. Yeah, it's not bad, it's just over 200,000. Uh, let's test it against something that's roughly in the same ballpark. Let you know about let's go. This probably isn't gonna go super well for us. Uh, because. Uh, this is a complete ship, and R1 is not. Also torpedoes. Yeah, our shells are a little bit light. I'm just gonna scratch them a lot. Also, we're a little slow, and I'm not a fan of that. How well is armor scheme holding off? Armor scheme is doing okay. Who is winning? We are still winning. We do need some kind of torpedo defense, I think. Yeah, mostly we're making a mess of uh, surface blocks. Yeah, this is definitely more of an AI cruiser rather than anything else. Still winning though, that's cool. Okay, yeah, no missiles do it does make a difference, so So I do wanna kind of uh these are super cav shells. So how badly do these things do at the whole seawiz thing? Is the question. Hopping onto this guy here, here, and taking out this fella and placing this. My goodness. Let's take AMC on one, and I'm just going to. It's distance we want, altitude. We are gonna need some kind of sonar in order to see torpedoes. Uh, range of, uh, me, me. Okay, yeah, so now that we've done that, just replace all these. Oh no, not this bug again. Not this bug again! Sometimes you can't select sub-objects, and it sucks. You need to restart the designer, and that sucks. But then life sucks, and then you just get used to it. Okay, you hold on for a moment. Yep. There we go, there we go, there we go. Yeah, so 
the secret to making big things that are cheap is to really restrict its size in one dimension. This thing is very narrow. Oh, the waves thing works. Uh, okay, let's test the waves a little bit. Okay, we're going to change that to propulsion as forward, because uh, that looks silly. Okay, so... Troll, push the command, forward, and... Wait, no. Push the command is none, and then push the command is forward. There we go. There we go. What was I doing? Okay. We just need quickly over here. Rudimentary of the controllers. I don't think we're gonna get around to the superstructure this time. Next week for sure. I'm going to you know what? I'm gonna commit absolute heresy and I'm gonna stick munition warners on poles. And I'm gonna delete I'm, this is not going to make it into the thumbnail, so everybody feel very privileged <laughs> that you get to see the stick. <laughs> okay, there's the stick, and over here is going to be... Uh, where are the torpedoes least likely to hit? Probably somewhere near the front. So I'm going to go over here... guys can do the thing. Also, let's just check here, make sure I've done this correctly. Priority. Oh no, damn it. No, priority. Priority is higher. Priority is higher, dude. It's gonna be higher. Okay, cool. Be careful with your prefabs. In fact, while I'm here, I just that. There we go. Now I don't have to worry about it again. We've got spare space in here. It's fantastic. There we go. So, heat seawares. Not good, but it's okay. The mighty stick. St Wait, what? Hmm. Oh, yeah, it's just, you want to see my stick? Alright. Okay, let us trundle you along. And where is... Okay, I think this is the... These guys? No, it's not these guys. Wait a minute. These guys drop bombs, yeah? Oh. What the hell are those? Hang on. Uh, let's just save my crap. Are these nukes? No, they're not. There's something else. They're... What the hell are these? They're... I don't know what that is. Oh my goodness, that's weird. Oh, they're based on... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Uh, these things armed with anything else? 
No, by the looks of it. Hey, we survived that. That's cool. It hurt like hell, but it's okay. Alright, so that isn't the plane I was looking for. What was I looking for? I was looking for... What was the torpedo bombers we found again? Uh, I don't know the names of any of these planes. Was it these guys? Oh yeah, it's funny that, uh, Sanemet, the, the Mitsubishi... Mitsubishi something something. No, not these guys. Ay, 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 ay. These guys? Oh, there we go. I think that's it. Alright, now let's see. Are these the ones? These are not the ones. I want something that drops bombs or torpedoes. Mitsubishi A6 and 2. These are the ones. I think these are the ones. Mitsubishi to the left. Nope. Damn it. Um, to the left. They're the same ones. Yeah, that's not right. Uh, zeros were primarily fighters. Hey. See, the annoying thing about a historically themed campaign is that there's... Okay. You know what? Forget it. I was about to say because you can't tell from the name. But, um... You can't tell from the name of Nita either. It's Mitsubishi something something. Also, description would be super good. Is it this one? Did I just... No! Damn it! Where's torpedo bombers? I had them! What the hell was it? Okay, let's go by missile firepower. Alright, is it these guys? Maybe. Okay. Nope. Damn it. Grr! Where's the torpedo bombers gone? Uh, it's not this one, is it? It is this. These are the Nakajimas, I think. I think? Are they? It is them. Yay! Nakajimas, there we go. Oh, hello, hello. We just shot down torpedoes. That's nice. We are advanced space age. Okay. I need to start cra get cracking on some kind of superstructure, otherwise people are going to be mad. Yay! Once you get the hang of sea wizards, actually kind of nice. Also, we could we need more propellers on this thing. Okay, this thing is turning into a success, little bit by little bit. Jolly good, jolly good. Okay, see if we get. Oh yeah, screenshot them. Yep, yeah, good, good, good. Uh, good idea, good idea, good idea. Nakajima. Yeah, torpedo squad. Torpedo squad, torpedo squad. No. Now we have to get it on the one in the middle. Damn it. There we go. And go away. All right, let's uh, let's make some superstructure quickly. Or at least get a start on it. Uh, let us stop you from moving about too much. I do like this thing. Yeah. Yeah, sure, sure. I might even put... Let's put torpedoes on this. Why not? Uh, how are we going to do that, though? Let us be very, very naughty and go... Where is the boogie? Bookie for bookie for bookie. 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Kegu, 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 Kegu. Yeah, that, that's good. That's good, good, good. In fact, yeah, let's do that. Okay, so save over AI Cruiser and save it again. And as the... What is it? FSR Kegu. There we go. Now, I'm going to be a naughty naughty and just prefab uh, the superstructure on this thing. And then... Uh, roll with it a little bit. Starting here. Not including that little AA gun in front, because I can't roll them to see here. Will this fit? Oh, it will fit, it will fit. Very nicely, in fact. Look at that, instant superstructure. That looks kind of tiny. So, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to elevate that a little bit. Maybe I need to get it off a bigger ship. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it is a bit small. All right. Yeah, nah, 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 nah. Let's uh, let's steal a let's steal a different one. Steal a different one. And let's, uh, well, let's, let's, let's spawn in the Kitakami. Now yeah, that's more like it. Oh, I remember this thing. This thing has a redinky dink amount of torpedoes. Which is the front. Alright, that's the front. Alright. Alrighty, righty, 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 righty. Right, let's steal this whole. Set the lifeboats. We don't need lifeboats where we're going. I look forward to people praising me for the superstructure that I have just ripped wholesale. Also, I'm nicking this, <laughs> I'm nicking this range fire. Oh, I'm naughty. Oh, I've never done this before. I should have done it ages ago. All right, let's go here. FSR Kegu. Ah, yeah, that's more like it. That's more like it. That'll fit. That'll fit. I have to trim the back a little bit. Right. We got some lifeboat in there, and that's no good. I'm so... I'm so naughty. <laughs> Ta-da! Look at that! Instant superstructure! Instant, I say! <laughs> Let's see, what knows? What knows? What? Oh! We are missing the nose. Let's hop over there and see how much nose are we missing. Missing a little bit of nose. Just a little bit. There we go. Let's get some of that news. Cramped though. A little bit cramped. Right, I'm going to steal a bunch of smokestacks now. Or I could steal this thing. This thing looks cool. Here to the glass. <laughs> oh, sorry to hear that, tall rough. Mm. Yep. Uh, what did you miss? Uh, we are stealing superstructure from people who actually know how to build superstructure, so... It's very respectful, very polite, and I am totally doing it without permission, so... Yeah, there is that. Might replace uh, a bunch of these blocks uh, with deco, uh, just to save on block count and repair costs. 
Where's the kegu? There it is. Which way around was this again? It's like so. Cool, and now... Now we do this. Whoops. Oh, we don't do that. We do this. We do this. Having fun, having fun. Okay, this is very temporary, so nobody panic. Why is that blue? Why is that blue? Oh, it's paint three. Uh, let's do that. Just temporarily, and I'm gonna stick the smokestacks. Okay, so Fuki, Kitakami, where are you? There you are. Gonna steal your lovely smokestacks, Ayers. Gonna steal them. Oh, I'm gonna steal them real good. <laughs> oh, this is cheating so hard. Oh boy. Mass points forward. Otherwise, okay, right. Smoke. Nope. Smokestacks are not going in the middle. It's not going in the middle because I want Zilla's guns to have a free range of fire. Okay. Where are we? Kegu, let's go over there. Ah, oh, okay, you're right, this is backwards. This is backwards. What the hell? Oh dear. Okay, hold on, hold on. I need to adjust something here. This is backwards, you say. Alright, we'll flip it around. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Circles for air mounts. Yep, yep, yeah. We'll do something like that. We've just instantly made a ship that doesn't look entirely like crap, so that's nice. Although the credit really goes to whoever did the Kitakami, which I'm going to look up in a hot second. Just wait. What? the way we go. Okay, I'm gonna have to move that smokestack a little bit. Yep, gonna have to move that. Ah, that's, that's deco. Okay. Where is the deco for this? That. And now we're missing some stuff. to see my deco work, which is markedly inferior. Right, 
this thing right here needs to scuttle along a little bit. Your nose again. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. I fixed. I fixed. We have nose. We have nose. Do Damn it. We have nose. Do not panic. We need to put railings, we need to put the promised missiles and stuff, but yeah, that's thumbnail worthy. Whee! Wait, I can probably take this off. New command structure goes here. There we go. Yay! Might do my own version of this bearing rangefinder though. Right here, her then. You do that. You do that. Let's finish off by blowing up some planes to soothing music. <laughs> Mount Circles breaks up the brick. Hey, Elander, then welcome to the stream. Windows are missing. Yeah, what's happening here? Are we rolling over? Nah, not really. Okay, let us then sit spawn in. What's the hardest kind of plane? What's this? Let's spawn in these guys. These are bombers, I'm guessing. Oh, darn it. They spawned in the wrong team. Listening. Listening. Damn it. So much for grand finale. Okay, Kegu. Kegu actually sounds like a Japanese name, actually. Right, so I got a notification regarding things. That's all good. That's all good. That's all good. That's all good. All right, let's try that again. Additional ventilation. Anything planned for that midsection? Not really. I just want this, um, those middle guns to have as much, um, as much of an arc as, of fire as possible. Because this way they can shoot almost all the way around. Let's see, what are these things armed with? Bombs, I'm guessing. Yay, they do have bombs. Dead. Are these things actually... Yep, they are. Okay, you know, though, you do need munition warners if you're gonna... If you're gonna try things like that. Like, more of them. Considerably more of them. Where can we hide them? We can hide them here. Wait, what? 
Spin block, it ain't blocking the turrets. <laughs> hey, don't be mean. <laughs> My brain can handle deco sometimes. Put that over there. Put extra ones just here. There we go. We have sufficient munition warners now. Let's spawn in those bombers again. Just to see how well we do. Well, we don't even have turret restrictions yet, and we're doing just fine. Excellent. Yes, we are doing horrible things to planes, which is exactly the plan. In fact, we are killing them so fast when we can't test the sea whiz. <laughs> Okay, there we can test the sea whiz. Wait, we don't have munition wonders pointing up. I just realized. That explains why this isn't working so well. Okay, that one missed. Also, it did basically nothing though, so it's all okay. Okay, yep, that counts as success. That counts as success. Please don't beat yourself, that'd be bad. Okay, I like this thing. FSR, Ka the Federal Sooty Republic Kegu. Let's just uh, repair you completely. Yeah, I like this thing. I like this thing, guys. We've done good. We've done good. Hmm. Yeesh. Yeah, this, uh, this looks unusual, but I think there are historical ships that did stuff like this. It's weird, I know, but uh, it's what I had in mind. So, yeah. Also, this thing is designed to shoot at things that are on either side of it and around it and just all over the place. Go and nick a catalog. Okay. Uh, what the hell? There's a lot of things to keep in mind. Alright, so... Tune in next week, because we'll be finishing uh, this thing off. We did very well. And it's not even that canoe-like. Kind of. Sort of. It looks nice and slim. It's got guns that do what I want it to. We've just quickly nicked some superstructure on it, so it looks good-ish. Yeah. Like, yeah, we've done okay. Plug you? What are we talking about steak for? Do do. Okay, and, uh, yeah, 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 note, yeah, noted. Go nick one off the Alaska. Don't let me forget. So, that will do for this stream. We've been going for, wow, time flies when you're having fun. For just over two hours. So, yeah, thank you all so much uh, for joining and watching. And uh, thank you to all those people who were supplying plenty of tips and advice and suggestions. I'm sorry, there was no way I was going to be able to do all of your suggestions. Because there's too many. And I did have kind of a plan in mind. So, yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, usual story. Uh, like, comment. Well, it's... Alright, so on YouTube, you follow and subscribe and stay tuned for more streams. And over on the YouTube, uh, like, comment, subscribe. But most of all, watch. And uh, thank you all so much. And I will see you uh, next week uh, for finishing this thing off. I like it. I like the Tegu. That was a very good name suggestion. I forgot who originally suggested that, but it was a very good suggestion. Tegu. It just looks like Tegu. Okay, farewell and bye. See ya! And farewell.